Hi everyone, a surprising move out of Cranbrook today. The Kootenai Ice have fired head coach Chris Knobloch. The move was announced this morning by President and General Manager Jeff Schnauth. Knobloch had just completed his second season behind the bench and had one year remaining on his contract. The Ice really have no comment at this time, but there is already speculation that Knobloch may be the next coach of his alma mater, the U of A Golden Bears. Well, the end has come for the Edmonton Oil Kings at the Memorial Cup in Quebec. Two show win again now for the Oil Kings and Cataracts in a tiebreaker last night. The Oil Kings fell behind in the first period and never recovered. Yannick Veilloux made it 1-0 for the hosts in front of their rabid fans. And then they make it a two-goal lead here, uh, this time for Morgan Ellis. That goal coming in the power play, so that put the Oil Kings down by two after the first 20 minutes of action. Second period, less than two minutes in. It's a quick one-timer from Anton Zlobin. And it's 3-0 for those men in the awful yellow jerseys. And this game was basically all but over. Here's another goal just for a good measure. It's 4-0 here. This one with the man advantage now. Nice pass down low to Michael Bornaball. And you can make the final 6-1 for Shawinigan. So that's it for the run for the Oil Kings this year. Shawinigan stays and advances to tonight's semifinal game against St. John. Lethbridge's first ladies of football are back on the gridiron. The Lethbridge Steel are set to host the Edmonton Storm tomorrow evening in the Alberta Female Football League. The Steel lost their opener on the road in Calgary, but are hoping to rebound against last year's provincial champions. The club is dedicating this game to the memory of Tanner Craswell, Mitch McLean, and Tabitha Steppel. Three Lethbridge girls are getting set to take on some provincial records this weekend in Calgary. They were once gymnasts, but after leaving that sport, they wanted something new, something unique. Now they're excelling in it. Darrell Rommel reports. Meet Bailey Fleming. She's 13 years old and she's an Olympic power lifter. I want to get really good. And she is good, really good, lifting at least her own body weight in both snatch and clean and jerk disciplines. Not bad for only having started just one month ago. Emma Takahashi is also a newcomer to the sport. In this attempt, she presses 75 pounds above her head, no problem. After deciding judo and gymnastics weren't for her, she opted for something unique. Mostly to get my strength up and I thought it would be a good opportunity to do something different than all the rest. The idea originated with her. Katrina Burton was their gymnastics coach. About three years ago, she too began searching for something new. Women began weightlifting in Canada in about the 1950s, mostly as recreation, but at times they would enter meets, many of them using it as a way to enhance other sports, like fencing or track and field. Nowadays, it's the sport itself that attracts women. Burton gave it a try after hearing gymnasts adapted well to powerlifting, then suggested it to her former students. Didn't like the gym atmosphere, didn't like working out. Now she's hooked. In her first competition, she shattered a pair of long-standing provincial records in her 53-kilogram weight class. Now she's setting the bar even higher, chasing a spot on the Canadian national team. I mean, I always set the expectations really high for myself, so I always want and strive for more, but I'm pretty happy where I'm at right now. Coach Chad Brandt says words can't describe how proud he is of his athletes and hopes more girls will give lifting a try. And, you know, you hear the, the myth, don't lift weights, I'm going to get big. Uh, the myth is out there, it's a myth. I mean, if that was true, then all us guys who want that muscle will be asking, what are those girls eating or taking? Because that's what they want, right? They're dispelling one other myth, too, that weightlifting is only for guys. Daryl Rummelt, CTV Sports, Lethbridge. And the action conditioning a weightlifting team competes in Calgary tomorrow, Jackie. Okay, and to answer your question from before, mm -hmm. the Albert Einstein yes. College of Medicine is in the Bronx, of course. Thank you. Coming up next, everybody hates a party crasher, <laughs> but what do you do when the party crashers are actually bovines?